Hey everybody. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about motherboards. Today I'm going to discuss a way to help prolong the lifetime of your system's motherboard when you're building a new computer. This is a highly recommend thing, recommended thing to do when you're building a computer that's going to be subject to gaming, video editing, a hot environment, or anything like that. Here we have a brand new MSI G41M-P34 Intel Socket 775 motherboard. Brand new board fresh out of the box. And the biggest thing that I believe can help promote the lifetime of the motherboard is the first thing, replace the thermal compound or the thermal interface material on your Norbridge chip unless it already has paste. In this case, the south bridge, which is in the very bottom portion of the video, already has thermal paste, but usually any sort of chips that have a small die on the more or less the heat sinks will still have this really sorry bubblegum looking stuff that doesn't do a very good job of transferring heat from the die of the north bridge chip or south bridge chip in some cases to the heat sink. This is why some NVIDIA based computers with NVIDIA chipsets have failed prematurely and need, been needing reflowing. I have several motherboards on hand that I need to do what's called reflow to fix the soldering joints with underneath the chips that overheated due to inadequate cooling. Anyways, getting the chips run cooler can help promote the lifetime and reduce the chances of ever having to reflow the board. So we'll go ahead and pop off this North Bridge heatsink and have a look. And of course, before you pop off your heatsink, you want to have some thermal interface compound on hand and some cleaner, such as rubbing alcohol or at least Windex. Windex will do. I've used it plenty of times before. Go ahead and get these snaps off here. It can be a little tricky, so I'm going to have to take the board out of the video for just a moment. Okay, now we're going to pull the heatsink off and do it gently. Because this pink stuff is still on there and it kind of forms a bond. And it can be difficult to get off at times. But it pulled right off. And as you see, we have the pink stuff. And the reason why I dislike the pink stuff is because it's a wax. It's back from the Old Pentium 3 days. They should have quit using it 6 or 7 years ago. I mean seriously. Thermal paste. Such as. Arctic Silver 5. Or. White paste. Does a much better job. Of transferring heat. From. The chip. To. The cooler. Because it's a grease rather than wax. And it's much easier to work with when you're replacing the heatsink or replacing a CPU or whatever. I mean, you have this stuff here com compared to this stuff. Let's go ahead and have a close look here. As you might be able to see, this is white thermal paste. It's like a silicone based paste. And of course, Arctic Silver is a silver based thermal compound. Let's go ahead and have a look here. As you might be able to see, there's a small bit on top of this, and there's a small bit inside here, as you might be able to see. And this is actually made out of real silver. It's got real silver in it. It does a very good job of transferring heat. And so does this. And when it comes to setups where you're putting out a lot of heat, I recommend you using Arctic Silver 5. I'll be applying that to the CPU and the system, but for the chips, I'll be just applying some of this stuff. This works just fine for for the chips and low heat CPUs. So we're going to have to go ahead and try to get this cleaned off. Which this is a brand new motherboard, so it shouldn't be too awful bad. It's not really that bad at all since it's new. Now just give it a couple of years. If you were to run this motherboard with this pink stuff for a couple of years. It would be very tricky to get off. I mean, it would be bad tricky. 
Because this stuff can be very difficult to pull off. It's like bubble gum, as I say. Go ahead and zoom in and have a look here. Have a look at that. Now, is that stuff nasty or what? I mean, it, it can be difficult to get off. So, when you pull off your heat sink and you have this stuff, set aside some time to get this stuff off because it can be tricky to get off and you gotta be careful too. Okay, now I got the chipset die cleaned up and ready to go. The Northbridge die. And I also went ahead and got the portion of the heat sink that the chip will make contact cleaned up. As long as you get the majority of this stuff out of the way, out of the center, you should be good to go. Now I'm going to apply some thermal paste. Okay, apply some thermal paste to the die of the chip. Another thing I'm going to mention is I also went ahead and took off some rubber foam that used to be around the edge of this heat sink. This helped center the heat sink on the chip, but this particular motherboard has rub pieces of rubber here and here. And taking this foam piece off allows more pressure to be applied to the chip die. So now I'll go ahead and reinstall this back into place. What we do is set it down and pop it in. Pop the pins into place. And it's installed. So, anyways, that's a really good way that you can help prolong the lifetime, the lifespan of your computer's motherboard. Do this when it's brand new out of the box. Anyways, any questions or comments? Let me know.